Man, what's good, man? We back on Tell Me Twan. We got uh, Quet with us. What's up with you, bro? I'm going on. How about you? I'm straight, man. Can't complain. Can't complain. But, man, how you feeling, man? Feeling cool. Good, good. Feeling better than usual. All right, man. So, man, you know, we're going to start from the top just so, you know, people can get, get your background, you know, get a little bit, get to know a little bit about you. Um, then we'll, you know, get into the music and all that good stuff. So, you know, for people who don't know, they don't know where you're from. Northwest DC, search some quarters to be exact. Search some quarters, man. The border, the border, man. Sure. Yeah, heard, heard a lot of good things, you know, a lot of good people around there. One, the one area in the city that showed me a lot of love, you know, I appreciate it. But, um, mm -hmm. you know, for, for people who ain't familiar with System Quarters, you know, give them a little, uh, a, a little background um, about the area. You know, we're a small neighborhood. Well, not small, we're a big neighborhood. We consist of a lot of blocks. Mm -hmm. Like, you take up from K Street Northwest, up the first street, first street along down you know, the on the North Capitol. Hey. The whole paper, a little bit of New York Avenue, too. All right, for sure, for sure. A lot of love down there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, it's actually Latin for lift up your heart. Lift up your heart. Yeah. So. All right. Yeah, cause I it was what like a Catholic church or something that that, right, right, that created. Right, right. Okay, okay. And right now it's being renovated. I, I drove past there and I saw that they knocked everything down. They they building up the high rises. Is folks that was living in the quarters gonna be able to live in those high rises or is it? Yeah, they allow they allow everyone to come back. Oh, they allow everybody to come back. Yeah. All right. They also, yeah. actually, it's excuse me, can not say before Sibley side also that consists of that's where I'm actually from. Yeah, from Sibley. Yeah, so like, that's the M Street, not Hundred Block. Okay, okay, Street, okay. Right? We call that state property. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Cause I know I know the border. It got like it got like like what like five six different sections of it, or like I guess buildings that consist. Of, that, you yeah, know? I'll say about a good five. We got. Up top is the town I was in state prom, that's where I'm from. Also the search court, that's the main part. Yeah. And you got down the bottom, which is Temple Court, Turnkey, 901, the market. So it's about it's, it's, it's a lot of parts. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, man. A lot of parts. Yeah, man. So you know, how, how how was it like growing up around there? Like was it like a family environment, like tight knit community or like I, I yeah, was everybody was kinda of tight knit, yeah, there had a lot going on, like coming up I was in bands, go go bands and yeah. always playing the keyboard and all things like that. So. Yeah, yeah, I, I heard, um, yeah, you used to play in NWO, right? NWO, man, yeah. yeah. Man, come out the neighborhood. Okay. Shout out to Jig. Yeah, wait, wait, what uh, what NWO stand for? Northwest Outlaws. Northwest Outlaws, yeah. okay. Who, who else, who else um, was in that band? I feel like a couple other people, a couple other known people in the city was in that band. Yeah, you got uh, T, Slutty T, turn, yeah. turn from T.O.B. Yeah. Jig, T.O.B. Yeah. It's a cover. Everybody else, they got old bands. I'm not familiar with. Hey. And T O T O B started around the quarters, right? Yeah. Hey. 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 Right hey. I know. I know a lot of folks that um that, that play in T O B, man. So, so you started with the go go, and then you kind of transition transition to rap. Like how um how was that transition? Like when when did that happen? Like kind kind of break that down for us. I was I wasn't rapping at first. I actually was playing the piano. I'm real, hey. I'm real familiar with the piano, so. Hey. For me, it started out as actually incarcerated. Yeah. Started out as something just to do, bored, nothing to do. Started writing rhymes. I started out writing poetry, actually. Okay. And then the poetry day to me was like, let me rap it and see how it sounds. Uh, and so, wait, when, like, around, what, what year was this? Like, this when was probably around, I was, I was arrested in 2011, so this was probably around like 2012. 20, summer uh, 2012. Okay. Wait, how long was you uh, locked up for? I was locked up for three and a half years. Three and a half years? Yeah. Damn. Wait. So yeah. I, so I'm guessing when you was in there, you, you know, you was writing like, like how much, how much, like how many raps you came on with whenever you got released. <laughs> uh, nah, that's crazy. Man. That's crazy. I'm black. But I started. I was. I got put in a hole. Solitary confinement. Yeah. I got put in a hole, and when I get put in a hole, that's what made me bored. Nothing to do. Start writing. Yeah. So me writing started me writing like a song. I was like, I'm gonna do a song every day. Yeah. That's how I started out rapping to other people's beats. I'm real yeah. familiar with playing the piano, so it wasn't. Yeah, it wasn't it was hard for me to. And, and the beat, thing is, and the beat and just rap to it. It wasn't hard yeah. for me to do that. So I was just like, remember the beat. I like my radio warm. I'm in the hole. Listen, remember the beat. Write a song to it. Yeah. That's why I did that every day for. I was in the hole for 28 months.